squaring a matrix. So whenever you have a matrix, you're going to have a box with a bunch of numbers in it. It's going to have rows and columns. And you can multiply a matrix by another matrix. Well, in this case, when you're squaring a matrix, you're actually taking that matrix and you're multiplying it by itself. So here's a little chart that I wrote up. Hopefully this will help you out. If you're raising something to the zero power, you're always going to get the identity matrix. And then when you take a matrix and you raise it to the one power, you're always going to get that same matrix. But then when you get to the exponent two and the exponent three, and from there, it gets more complicated. All of a sudden, when you square a matrix, you're multiplying it by itself. And that's the same way with when you cube a matrix down here. If you're raising something to the power of three, you're cubing it. So you're actually going to be multiplying the matrix by itself three times. So that's what we're doing today. We're squaring a matrix. And over here, I have a really quick example I want to go over. Right here, I have a matrix one, two, three, four. I know that this matrix has two rows, and I know that it has two columns. So this is a two by two. And what it's asking me is, it's asking me to find m squared. So what I need to do is I need to take this two by two, and I need to multiply it by itself. So I'm going to start off by writing out m squared, right? It tells me to find m squared. And that's going to be taking this matrix, the one, two, three, four, and it's going to be squaring that. So I'm going to put the exponent 2 above that. So now what that does is it says, hey, take the matrix and multiply it by itself. So I'm going to have 1, 2, 3, 4 times itself. 1, 2, 3, 4. So now I just multiply the two matrices together. Notice that they're both 2 by 2s. The inside numbers do match up because the inside numbers are 2 and 2. That's good. That means I can multiply these together. And the outside numbers, this 2 and this 2, are going to tell me the dimensions of the product. So in the very end, I should have a 2 by 2 waiting for me. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to circle the first row and I'm going to circle the first column. I'll do both in red this time. I've got 1, 2 and 1, 3. So I'm going to have 1 times 1. I multiply the first number by the first number, plus 2 times 3. I'm multiplying the second number by the second number. So that would be 2 times 3. So that's going to be my first row and my first column. Now I circle the second column over here. I'm going to have the first row times the second column. That's going to give me 1 times 2, 1 times 2, plus 2 times 4, 2 times 4. And that's going to be it for the first row. So now I'm done with both columns. I can move on to the next row. So I'm going to circle the bottom row over here, and I'm going to multiply it by these two columns. So I have 3, 4 times 1, 3. That's going to give me 3 times 1. 3 times 1, plus 4 times 3. Now I move on to the second column. So now 3, 4 times 2, 4. I'm going to get 3 times 2, plus 4 times 4. So now I've exhausted all the columns, and I've exhausted all the rows, and now I just need to do a little multiplication and then adding. So to simplify these, I'm going to have 1 times 1, which is 1, 2 times 3 is 6, and if I add those up, 1 plus 6 is going to give me 7. So I can erase all this and replace it with a 7. Now over here, for the next term, I have 1 times 2, which is 2, and I have 2 times 4, which is 8. 2 plus 8 is going to give me 10. So I can erase this and put a 10. Erase all that, put down the 10, and that's going to be my first row, 7, 10. Okay, moving down to the bottom row, I have 3 times 1, which is 3. I've got 4 times 3, which is 12. 12 plus 3 is going to give me 15. So I can erase this 
and replace it with a 15. Replace it with a 15. All right, and then the last number, it's going to be 3 times 2, which is 6, plus 4 times 4, which is 16. 16 plus 6 is 22, I think, 22. And that's going to be my last number, 22. And I'm done. That's going to be my 2 by 2. So what I just did was I multiplied the matrix that I was given by itself. And I get the squared result, m squared. So the first row is going to be 7, 10. The bottom row, which is the second row, that's going to be 15, 22. And yes, since it does have two rows and it does have two columns, this is going to be called a 2 by 2. So that's squaring a matrix. You can multiply a matrix by itself to get a squared term. And if you multiply three matrices together and they're all equal to each other, you'll get m cubed. And you can keep on with that pattern through all the positive exponents. And that's called squaring a matrix. So I hope that helps.